Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Everyday EDC. My name is Tyler and today we have the CRKT Pete. <laughs> well, that was not expected. We have the CRKT Pete. Now, it's spelled P-I-E-T, but according to some websites it's pronounced as Pete. This cool little blade has a 8CR13 MOV steel. It has a nice drop point shape with a flat grind going down for the majority of the blade. The opening mechanism is, as you can see, an opening hole, which you can easily reverse flick. You can thumb flick. You can slow roll. And I'm sure you can do your little spidey drop if you wanted to. These scales are, are fairly foreign to me. These are called GFN. Am I getting that right? Let me double check the notes. GFN scales. Glass reinforced frick. I forgot. As I was saying, the GFN feels way different than the FRN. And, and actually, because FRN is fiberglass reinforced nylon. That's what it is. Glass reinforced nylon is GFN. FRN is fiberglass reinforced. The glass reinforced... This feels pretty hard, actually. Whereas your FRN, you know, it's not that it feels soft, but it's it's got more of a plasticky texture. This is a plasticky texture, <clears throat> but it's a little bit harder. And and I kind of like it. I'm sure it's cheaper, because this knife's cheaper. It's coming in at about 30 bucks. But, I mean, it, it feels good. So we have a very nice deep carry pocket clip that is ambidextrous on both sides. We got a decently sized lanyard hole here with an aluminum backspacer with these GFN scales that are zoop. They have some recessed liners in those scales that are not weight relieved. I don't know if you guys can see. You guys probably can't. Ooh. Nice and dusty in there. They're not weight relieved and that's okay. The blade is centered up relatively good show you guys it's a little off center actually but that being said it does have a slight bit of blade play let's see if we could tighten this up and make this better no blade play and the blade is not centered so I'm gonna have to do some rehab to that do a little bit of tweaking so the tighter I tighten it down the less the centering got and that's fine the action on it and the fidget factor is pretty good after tightening it down for for 30 bucks, guys, not very bad. <coughs> not very bad. Yeah, that makes sense. Ergonomics. You're really only getting a solid three-finger grip. This is not a forward finger choil. It is just a large sharpening choil. Do not try to put your finger in there because you will probably get bitten. So for a three-finger grip, it's not... It's it's. I like it. And I love the blade shape. It's kind of this aggressive drop point style. It's almost what they call like a flat, a flat pack or something of that nature, but... It, it's it's an aggressive drop point that looks like it wants to work even though it's a smaller knife. As I said, 8CR13 MOV. Let's get into some specs. The overall length on this little mini-me. Try to center it up. In case you guys haven't noticed, I drew centering lines because I can't keep it centered and I can't keep my hands from going forward. So I just used permanent marker and said don't forget this. So we have a six and a half inch total length on this knife. The blade length's coming in at about two and a quarter, and the overall cutting edge is about two and a half. I'm sorry, two and three quarters overall, and the overall cutting edge is coming in at two and a half. What is the weight on this mini me? 2.4 with an overall blade length of 2.5, so you're definitely getting that blade to length ratio. And 2.4, as I said before, the bug out's coming in at about a 1.8. The Spyderco Paramilitary 3 Lightweight is coming in at, I think, a 2.4-ish. So it's right around that same weight. I could be slightly off on that. Don't judge. You can judge. I don't care. All right. What do we got? So the the overall blade stock thickness is coming in at 130 thousandths. <clears throat> but to put that into perspective, what do they do? They brought this thing down to a 25 thousandths behind the edge. Did they follow that through the whole way? Yes, they did. So that's pretty good. Um, I keep shutting this off without giving you guys the overall specs. The overall width on this knife is coming in at a .43, which is, once again, pretty good, because most standard knives that I've seen have come in at a .5. 
And the overall height of this knife in your pocket is coming in at just about a 1.1. To put that into perspective, your PM2 is coming in at a 1.6 and your Manix 2 is coming in at a 1.74. Let's get you guys some size comparisons on this little midget. You know, I'll put it up the Rat Model 1 just because I already opened it up, but I'm just going to open up the smaller knives. Here's your Rat Model 2. As you can see, it's smaller than your Rat Model 2. Your Civivi Odium. It's a little bit larger than your Civivi Odium. Actually, and, you know, looking at them, it's almost like the Odium is a... <laughs> I don't want to be a jerk, but kind of a much better version of the Pete. It, it, to me, it, it looks just like they took the Pete and said, figure out how to do this better, and that's what you get out of the Odium. Here's your mini Feldspar. And last but not least, let's give you a Spyderco Paramilitary 3. I'm just doing the smaller knives so that you guys can see what these look like up against these. So what are my overall thoughts on this guy? So, I, I actually really like the size. This is a very good fifth pocket knife or fifth pocket pocket knife and what I mean by that is is you can put it in just any tiny pocket that you have and it kind of disappears at the 2.4 ounces but in hand it still feels solid with these GFN scales I actually appreciate what they did with that I've never seen GFN before but I'm glad they didn't just slap FRN on this like I said it it feels it feels pretty good I don't feel any flexing anywhere and it just you know the texture is kind of like a eggshell style almost I don't know if that's the right word for it but it's it's a it's like a micro texturing or like a little that's not the right word either you guys get what I'm trying to say by looking at it it's a pretty good texture and another thing that I just like about this is I love the aggressive drop point blade I said like love maybe it's love maybe it's like but the aggressive drop point blade where it comes down to that 25 thousandths behind the edge pretty good and it's starting out at what I forgot what it was 130 thousandths so it's a very substantial knife that you feel like you can work with even though it's tiny. As I said in the beginning, the glass reinforced scales make it feel really solid in hand and the thick blade stock coming down to that 25 thousandths gives you a lot of working room. Let's... What do I love about this knife? I'm checking my notes because I don't want to forget anything here. As I said, I like the size, but I love how even though it has this aggressive drop point, it's a non-aggressive smaller knife. So in your pocket, this is a perfect office friendly knife. You can pull this out and nobody's going to be like, oh, he's got a knife. You're going to pull it out and they're going to be like, yeah. As MC would say, you know, you can cut open Susie's bag of pretzels, right? And the fidget factor for 30 bucks and a smaller knife is not too bad. I got to tweak it, obviously, and the detent feels a little weak, so we'll see what we do when we break into it. But it's it's kind of fun to fidget with. It's like, like I said, it's it's like a it's like a dumbed down version of the Odium. It's like if if the Odium had a brother that wasn't as good at sports. That's kind of what this is, in my opinion. I'm not comparing the two, other than its size. I'm trying to keep it size relative, right? What don't I like? This pocket clip is kind of obnoxiously large for how small this knife is. I love the deep carry, but how large this thing sticks off. Let's see. I mean, it's, it sticks off just as thick as the freaking knife is thick. It's kind of like you couldn't have come up with just a popsicle deep carry stick that comes on down, pocket clip, whatever. So can I recommend this knife? For sure. For 30 bucks, guys, this is definitely a knife that I can recommend. It's small, it's discreet, it's 8CR13, wah, wah, but it's for 30 bucks. Remember, blade steels are relative to the price. If you're paying $30 for a knife, don't expect to get your S30s, your S35s, anything like that. If you do, then you're probably not really getting what you want or you're not getting the heat treat, right? So for 8CR13 MOV, I'm not mad at it. I can definitely recommend it for 30 bucks if this is what you like. If you're looking at this and you love the aesthetics of this, because there's, and I always say that, Ugh, brain fart. So can I... Can I recommend this knife? Yes, if this is your look, and I always say that if this is your look, you know, I can recommend it. 
What I mean by that is, is there's so many things to choose from at the $30 price point that you have to love the look of the knife almost more so than a lot of other things. And that goes with any price range, but this does the job just as well. You can compare this. I wish I had my Honey Badger out. You can compare this with the Honey Badgers at the same price point. Um, but again, you're getting D2 steels. You got you to remember what you're getting. So if, you're, if you like the look... They put a little bit of, you know, extra with this aluminum backspace or the deep carry, this GFN. I don't know if GFN costs more than FRN. I'm guessing not. But I think it looks pretty cool. It's a great office carry. And it'll it'll get the job done for a lot of your office-style tasks. You could probably even break down boxes with it. But the, the ergonomics aren't great, but it is a much smaller knife. It's not like the ergonomics of a Farron Forge. So that is all I got for you guys today. This is the... CRKT Pete. And the one thing I forgot to mention, this was brought to the channel by Jake. He sent this in for a view, but not only did he send this in for a view, he donated this to the channel. So if you guys do happen to like this knife, as I say with all my donated knives to the channel, I will be doing giveaways with these. It's only fair to have somebody donate something in and then give that knife away because you got to share the love, right? Thank you guys. Well, thank you Jake so much for sending this in and donating this to the channel. That is so very cool of you. He donated both this and the Kara Kara 2. So we will be doing a giveaway in short order. I told you guys I will not announce my giveaway, so I am not announcing it. But what I am announcing is stay tuned because probably within the next, I would say, week to week and a half, I will be planning on doing some sort of giveaway contest for these two. That's all I got for you guys, the CRKT Pete. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Tyler. This is Everyday EDC. You guys stay sharp. Stay safe. Wear your freaking masks if you got to. Subscribe if you haven't, because that's just a freaking shame. Join the community. Talk with us. Let's have a good time. This is my bro's night out. Anytime I get to talk with you guys for knives, I don't go out to the bar. I talk with knife guys. That's my man moment. I get to hang out with friends. So, subscribe. Hang out with us. You guys... Have a great friggin' day. Thanks for watching.